imagine this you are working on excel sheet but something is not adding up instead of spending hours searching for the fix you just ask ai hey google where did i go wrong in this formula it sounds like you need help debugging your excel sheet you are trying to calculate a total and instantly it analyze your screen and fix it like having a tech expert by your side but wait it get even better for you guys for that you're browsing you know image and stumble upon a stunning landmark instead of typing out a search you show it to ai and ask you know what is this place tell me something interesting about it that is the eiffel tower in paris it is a wrought iron lattice tower on the champ de mars in paris france and boom yeah, i recognize it instantly and give you history facts and hidden secrets you never know about it you know now let's push the limits you're writing a blog or you know something like script or email and hit a creative blog no worries just highlight what you have written and ask can you complete this in the same style it looks like you have a good start with the intro do you want me to suggest some points to include in the body or a concluding paragraph and just like magic I fill the gaps perfectly, keeping the tone and flow in track. But here's what it get instantly cool. You are debugging code in VS Code, struggling with an error. Instead of wasting time on endless formula searches, you know the AI can, you know, help you debug that code. What you need to say is, what's wrong with this? Can you do to can you fix it? See that you have a Python script that is throwing a syntax error. It seems like the problem is in line five. This is not the future. It's happening right now with Google AI Studio stream real time. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up on your laptop and how you can use it to ask, show and interact with AI effortlessly today. So let's dive in. Hi, I am Anj from Noho Academy. Let's see what we're going to cover in this video. First, we're going to see how it's going to be set up in our laptop by step by step guide to getting started with real time. Then we see real time in action. We will test AI with some mind blowing examples, including Excel formula, identifying an image, completing a blog and debugging code like a pro. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to use Google AI Studio like a pro. So let's get started. All right. Now that we know how instantly powerful Google AI Studio is about it. So first we need to set up in our laptop. So you can start using it right now and trust me it's super easy you don't need any coding just few clicks so you want to perform something those examples on the practical on your screen for that you need to enable google ai studio on your pc so for that i'll go and type google ai studio and press on enter so it opened me that page click on the first link here from the symbol you can see that and it take you to the Google AI Studio page. From here, in the top left corner, you see, you know, stream in real time. Go there and click on microphone so it will AI able to get what you're saying and click on camera, uh, click on screen. From here, you can choose that I'll today take my entire screen and share it. Hey, how okay, are you? So you are showing me how to share a screen. From here, you can choose if you want to share the entire screen. Is there anything else you want me to know? How are you? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Now, so you have set up your Google AI Studio. So now let's dive in some demos here with Google AI Studio. First is fixing an Excel formula instantly. So first up, we have Excel now. If you ever struggle with an Excel formula, that just won't work. You know how frustrating that can be. Watch this. I've got an error here in this formula. Let us AI to help us fix it instantly. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today? I'm great. Can you able to see my screen? That's great to hear. Yes, I can see your screen. So basically, I need some help in debugging my Excel formula. I need it to calculate the correct total, but it's giving me error. Okay. It sounds like you need help debugging your Excel sheet. You are trying to calculate a total, but it is giving you an error. Is that correct? Yeah. Can you see this cell? It's showing 8 and 3, it's 20. But how it's possible? Yeah. Even in all the cells. I see the problem now. You are adding 8 plus 3, and you are getting 20. 
It seems like you are trying to calculate the total price for each item by multiplying the quantity by the price. You should use multiplication instead of addition. So for example, the formula should be something like B2C2. And then you can drag that formula to all the cells you need. Okay, like should I write here B2? B2? You're right, it should be B2C2. Would you like me to help you with the other calculations as well? B2, C2, like that? Yes, that's exactly right. The formula should be equals B2, C2. Now you can press enter and drag the formula down for the other rows. Thanks. You're welcome. Second is identifying an image of landmark in real time. So next up, we are going to test real time image recognition. I'm going to show you an image of a landmark. Can AI figure out what is this? Let's test it out. Hey, how are you? Okay. Hi. Can you recognize what this landmark is in real time? Please identify it and tell me a bit about it. Sure. That is the Eiffel Tower in Paris. It is a wrought iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris, France. It was named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. It's one of the most recognizable structures in the world. That's interesting. I like it. Okay. Third is completing a block. Let's switch gears. Writing a block. So I had a blog on title, The Power of AI in Everyday Life. Watch AI take it from here. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How are you? So basically, can you help me finish this blog post about AI in daily life? I have got the intro. Now let's see how you wrap it up. Sure, I can help with that. It looks like you have a good start with the intro. Do you want me to suggest some points to include in the body or a concluding paragraph? Yeah, just uh, wrap it up with your ideas. Okay, here's a possible concluding paragraph that ties into the intro's theme of AI in daily life. As we've explored, AI is not a futuristic fantasy, but a present reality woven into the fabric of our everyday existence. From our morning routines to our evening entertainment, AI quietly empowers us to live more efficiently and enjoy richer experiences. As we move forward, it is imperative that we understand its capabilities and implications to harness its potential responsibly and continue to discover how AI enhances our world. Does that work for you? Yeah, thank you. Great, I am glad you liked it. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Fourth is debugging a code like a pro. So, okay, for all the coders out here, here's a challenge. Debugging a code, I've got a snip here that's throwing an error. Let's see how AI handle in real time. Okay, I see See that you have a Python script that is throwing a syntax error. It seems like the problem is in line five where you are trying to calculate the average and you have AVG equals total, len numbers. I believe the problem is that you have to divide using slash instead of using parentheses. Do you want me to correct that for you? Yes, I believe the issue is with how you are calculating the average in line five of your Python script. Instead of using parentheses, you need to use the division operator slash as A. Would you like me to show you the corrected version? Okay. I understand. Okay, I see you've added a slash and len to the code. However, you still need to use the division operator slash and not parentheses to calculate the average. The correct syntax should look like avg equals total slash len numbers. I'm in T. Do you want to try that? From these examples, you will know exactly how to use Google AI Studio like a pro. Now let's summarize what we have covered in this video today. We saw how it to set up on your laptop in real time action. We also test AI with some mind blowing examples, including fixed in Excel, identifying image, completing a blog and debugging code like a pro here. From all this, I guess Google AI Studio is going to be an exciting journey and going to be your personal assistant for you on your future. Thank you for choosing Noah Academy as a source of IT knowledge. We always here to help you and navigate you to the tech world.